good morning students today we will discuss a very important act that is the factories act 1948 legal regulation constitutes a vital element in the external environment of commercial organizations business law influences day by day to day working uh, so the awareness about important laws and their provision is very much essential as these are applicable in all form of organizations whether they are uh, irrespective of their size uh, the factories act to is a very important topic under the second unit of the uh, business law now first of all some historical background of the act and the introductory part uh, the industrial labor ever since uh, the industrial revolution has been often exploited their conditions were so depleted that it was considered indispensable to protect them against industrial and occupational hazards Uh, so in great britain the second half of the 18th century there was a rapid growth of industrial towns and factories as it was started without planning they employed the women as well as their children in factories who needed to work for more than 12 hours a day some of the employees took initiative to implement labor legislations factories act came into existence in 1819 after some modification the final amendment of factories act took place in 1948 in 1881 first factories act was passed in india to keep to keep pace with the changing needs or of working class of uh, the act has been amended this act has been amended several times uh, an entirely new act Uh, to consolidate uh, the uh, consolidate and amend the law relating to labor in factories uh, was therefore passed uh, by the constituent assembly on 28th august 1948 which came into force on 1st april 1949 so come uh, factories act 1948 is a comprehensive piece of legislation covering all aspects regarding the factories namely approval licensing and registration of factories the inspecting authorities health safety welfare working hours employment of adult and young children annual leave and penalties today we will discuss the safety part uh, what are the various provisions regarding the safety of the workers in the uh, factory first of all uh, we will discuss uh, what is factory according to the act a premises wherein 10 or more persons are engaged if par is used or without the use of par 20 or more persons are engaged in a manufacturing process it is known as factory it comes the definition of the factory comes under section 2m of the factory act 1948 now what are the various objectives of the act the act has been enacted primarily with the objective of protecting workers employed in factories against industrial and occupational hazards for that purpose it seeks to impose upon the owner or the occupier certain obligations to protect the workers and to secure them from employment in conditions conducive to their health and safety so the main objective of the act are to regulate working conditions in the factories uh, to ensure that basic minimum requirement for safety health and welfare of factory workers are uh, provided uh, the object of the act is to protect human beings from being subject to unduly long hours of uh, working uh, strain or manual labor Uh, the object of passing the factories act was to consolidate and amend the law regulating labor in the factories now applicability of the act applicability of the act at any place wherein manufacturing process is carried on with or without the aid of par or is ordinarily carried on not withstanding that uh, the number of persons employed therein is less than 10 if working with the aid of par and less than 20 if working without the aid of 
par the persons working therein are not employed by the owner thereof but are working with the permission of or under agreement with a uh, such owner um now scope of the act the act extends to whole of india the provisions of the acts are applicable to all factories including factories belonging to central or any state government unless otherwise excluded and the benefits of this act are available to persons who may be covered within the meaning of the term worker as defined in the act now come to the Uh, various provisions regarding the health of the safety of the sorry the safety of the workers we will uh, discuss what are the various provisions under the factories act regarding the safety of the uh, workers uh, so all the provisions regarding the safety of the workers comes under comes between section 21 to 41 of the factories act 1948 uh, chapter 4 of the factories act deals with the safety of the uh, workers the all provisions 21 to 41 comes under the section uh, sorry comes under the chapter 4 uh, of the factory factories act now the first section that is section 21 uh, deals with the fencing of the machinery uh, it means every dangerous part uh, must be securely fenced the state government may uh, by rules prescribe such further uh, precautions no part of the machinery uh, should be kept open it must be properly fenced uh, according to section 21 uh next one is section 22 deals with the machines in motion uh the machines in motion should be exam should be properly examined uh, the machinery in motion only by specially trained adult male workers wearing tight fitting clothes no women or child should be allowed to work uh, near the machines in motion Section twenty three of the Factory Act deals with the employment of young persons on dangerous machines. No young person should be allowed to work on dangerous machines unless he has been trained and is under the supervision. Young persons here means the persons who have who comes under the age between the age fourteen to age group of fourteen to eighteen. And um, striking gears. section 24 of the factory act deals with the striking gears there should be suitable striking gears uh, and uh, to switch off these gears uh, the par so that if there is an emergency problem can be solved so there must be uh, suitable gears etc to switch off the pars of the dangerous machinery section 24 uh self acting machines section 25 uh, the other provisions uh, of the factories act under section 25 is self acting provisions regarding self acting machines uh the factory it, the officer uh, should make sure that no person should walk in space within 45 cm from any fixed structure which is not the part of the uh, machine now section 26 deals with the a uh, casing of the new machinery all machinery driven by parts and installed should be so sunk and cased or otherwise effectively guarded as to prevent any danger cotton openers this provisions section 27 relates with the uh, cotton openers provisions regarding cotton openers no women or children are allowed to work on, on Uh, or near the cotton openers section 28 deals with the hoist and lifts provisions regarding uh, hoist and lifts uh, every hoist and lift should be in good condition and properly checked the maximum load it can carry must be clearly mentioned uh, 
the gates should be locked by interlocking safe or any safe method is used it should not be open in between while the work is carrying on on these machinery it should not be open in between uh, to be it, the hoist and lift should be properly examined in every uh, six months Section 29 uh, deals with lifting machines, chains, ropes, and lifting tackles, uh, cranes and lifting machines, etc. to be of good construction and to be examined once in every 12 months. Cranes and lifting machines not to be loaded beyond safe working load, uh, which is mentioned along with Cranes cannot be approached within six meters of a place where any person is employed or working. Um, it must be six meters far away from the work of the working place of the persons. Section 30 deals with the revolving machines. Uh, maximum safe speed, speed must be mentioned on each machine. Speed indicated in notices should not be ex ex exceeded. The speed, whatever is mentioned on the notices, must be, uh, should not be ex ex exceeded from that notice. Section 31 deals with the pressure plants. There should be safe working pressure on pressure plants. Effective measures should be taken to ensure that the safe working pressure is not exceeded. Section 32 deals with floors, stairs, etc. All floors, steps, stairs, passages and gangways should be of sound constructions and properly mentioned. Section 33 deals with pits, sums, opening in the floor, etc. Pits, sums, etc. should be securely covered or fenced. Section 34 deals with the excessive weights. No person should be employed to hold more weight than the person can hold. Protection of eyes, it comes under Section 35 of the Factory Act 1948. Uh, for the protection of the eyes, workers should be provided with goggles if workers have to work on something stretching on the eyes. Section 36 deals with the dangerous fumes, etc. Uh, the employ, to employ workers in the places where dangerous gas fumes is present, uh, there must be prohibitions of the workers there. Uh, practicable measures should be taken for removal of gas, fumes, etc. Section 36A, portable electric lights. Uh, the portable electric lights should not be above 24 volt. Uh, then section 37, it deals with the explosive or inflammable dust, gas, etc. Uh, it, fact, it should be take all measures for the safety and to prevent explosion or ignition of gases, fume, etc. Safety measures should be taken to prevent all type of explosives, uh, explosive in the factories. Precautions in case of fire. Uh, comes under section 38. There should be separate exit for the, uh, if there is any case of fire, uh, there should be facilities for extinguishing the fire. So fire extinguishers must be uh, there at the different places of the factories. Now what uh, is the rule of the inspector? It comes under section 39 and 14, uh, rule of the inspector. Section 39, 40 and 48 talks about various rules that have been assigned to the inspector. He may call for details regarding buildings, machines, etc. Uh, section 40B deals with the safety officer. If thousand or more workers are employed, then there is need to appoint a separate safety officer so that the safety uh, provisions should be carried out properly. Uh, next section, 41, deals with the power to make rules to supplement the above provisions. 
The state government may make rules requiring the provisions in any factory of such uh, further devices and measures for securing the safety of persons employed therein as it, it may deem uh, seem necessary. Uh, working hour of the adults. Chapter 6 deals with the working hour of the adults. The rule as to the regulation of hours of work of adult workers in a factory and holidays. Uh, chapter 6 contains all the rules regarding the working hours of the adult workers and uh, holidays. Uh, section 51 deals with the weekly hours, not more than 48 hours a week. Section 52, first day of the week, that is Sunday, shall be a weekly holiday. Section 53, compensatory holidays, where a weekly holiday is denied, uh, the worker shall be allowed to avail the compensatory holiday within a month. Section 54 deals with the daily working hours. No adult worker shall be allowed to work in a factory for more than nine hours in any day. Section 55, uh, intervals for rest. No worker shall work for more than five hours before he has an interval for rest of at least half an hour. Inspector may increase it up to six hours. Spread overs, section 56 deals with the spread over. Inclusive of rest intervals, they shall not spread over more than 10 and half hours in any day. Means spread over should be uh, between 10 and half hours in any day. Inspector may increase the spread over up to 12 hours if required. Night shift, section 57 deals with the night shift. If shift extends between beyond midnight, a holiday for him will, him means for the worker will mean a period of 24 hours beginning when his shift ends. Uh, prohibition over shifts comes under section 58. Worker shall not be carried in any factory by means of the system of shifts. So arranged that more than one relay of workers is engaged in the work of same kind of at the same time. Extra wages for overtime, section 59. If workers work more than nine hours a day or more than 48 hours a week, extra wages should be given. Wages given uh, must be twice at the ordinary rate. Uh, restrictions on double employment comes under section 60. Uh, no worker is allowed to work in any factory on any day on which he has already been working in any other factory. So there is restrictions on the double employment of the workers. Uh, notice of period of work for adult workers. Section 61 deals with the notice to be displayed at some concession. Here's place, periods to be fixed beforehand, classification of workers, groups, copy of notice in duplication, and any change to be sent to the inspector. This is all about the factories and uh, provisions relating to the um, safety of the worker and regarding the working hours. Register of adult workers, section 62 and section 63 deals with the registers. Uh, the manager should maintain a regist uh, register. The register should contain name, nature of work and the group of the worker on each and every adult worker in the factory. The register shall be available to the inspector at all time uh, during the working hour. These are the provisions which are uh, very much necessary for the working hours of the workers